Hello there guys, welcome to episode 3 of this Real Madrid gameplay. Uh, last time we played this, we were struggling with the formation. I've decided to go back to the obvious 4-1-3-2 and see if we can win a game about like this. We are playing Valencia next, which is a massive game. Um, so hopefully we can get something from this game with no worries. We've got Mike Duff back as well, which is really good news. So he can run up that wing. There we go, Raul with the first goal. We just need to be completely dominant in these types of games. Uh, these are the games where the board will get really angry. You know, types like Barcelona, Valencia. They're games that we just can't afford to, to get beat in. So that's 2-0 already, which is really good. Two strikers up front doing the job for us. Ah, got another goal back straight away. A little bit annoying. But I can see us getting another one at some point here. Well, we, we kind of need to, really. Um, but yeah, very positive, you know, feel, thinking to myself that actually we can go far in this league. I've just been panicking. I think all the other teams have played six, so it just looks like we're, we're really far behind. But actually we have two games in hand there, which would take us to 13 points if we won those games in hand, which would put us to third in the league. Um, but yeah, we're 5-1 already here now, so this, this seems to be the formation. I'm quite happy with this. This is a very, very good performance. Um, Next game is Malaga as well, and we've got a big break after that, so I'm happy just to let these guys completely go with it and dominate. A big win is what we need, actually. We need the board to be happy and the fans to be happy, um, because there's been games like the Champions League, Lazio getting beat 6-2 or 6-3, I can't remember what it was, but that wasn't acceptable for Real Madrid. <clears throat> okay, 5-2, conceded again, quite frustrating. Come on, get another one. There we go, Hierro. This is a solid performance, I'm liking this. Okay, big win. Yep, yeah, delighted. Wonderful. So that puts us in a very good position for this next game now at Malaga, who are just below us actually, seven points, but they played two extra games in us, so that's quite good. Uh, oh, negotiation, lovely. Yeah, of course, we'll pay that. Curse scoops right. Yes, we've also got this guy coming in. There's so many players that we've got coming in at the minute. Was only able to find one suitable. That's not good enough. That I'm going to try and send my second this scout uh, for youth players. We'll send him out. Let's see if this guy can find anyone. Real Madrid type Karanka. That's what we wanted. They're encouraged. That's really good as well. He can't go, yeah, he can go. We, we have actually got rid of a lot of players this time around. There's a lot leaving in December, but as well as that, there's a lot coming in. So it's it's quite a big transfer window for us, really. It's not a transfer window, is it? It's just in the, the transfer window is actually closed, but there's so much going on. Also put a bid in for Seydorf, which I don't think they've got back to us yet, that I know of. Seydorf, did I put a bid in for this guy? Can't actually see. Yeah, I did. Yeah, they just haven't replied to me yet. There's, there's a lot of options for us. I think we're going to have a really good squad come December. And then, obviously, you'll have another half a season trying to figure out who wants to play where. Um... This is the guy that I want to actually replace Figo in that right side of midfield. He's 25. He's the best option that we've got, to be honest with you. Scouts watch Maxi Lopez. Yeah, not bad for 17. Delisandro. Really like Delisandro. I think he's a quality player. Gonna K this. There we go. Hot prospect for the future. Let's get this guy in. Be happy with this guy. Get him out on loan straight away. Okay, I, I I can't really argue with the team that we've just had there. I know it's away from home, but yeah, that's a good start. Vieira as well, of all people. Didn't didn't really expect him to get a goal there. Fair play to him. 
I remember that Dario Silva as well. He was. I'm sure Manchester United were actually in for him. I remember what, reading a newspaper article years and years ago that they actually wanted to buy this guy. There we go, 2-0, Maxime. This is good news. I think we're starting to settle in now. I can see there's a bit of a confidence brewing. No, this is good. Come on, get another goal and we'll call it a day. Go on. Yes. Maxime, 10th goal this season. Keeping out Morientes in this team. Raul seems to be playing okay, but just not scoring as much as I'd like him to. Okay, 3 now. Yeah, we're, we're looking a bit better. We're gradually getting there now, I think. Ajax away on the 16th. We run the we really did run run the risk with them last time at home. Let's just stick to this formation now, wherever we go. Right, I'm going to start making a few changes here. Because we need to think about this Ajax game. Solari is knackered. Let's get him on. Figo is also tired. We shall get Gooty on. Uh, Maxime is tired. The Dan's tired as well, though. I'm going to take Maxime off, though. Let's give that Sergio a go. Oh, God. People rave about this guy from Real Madrid. He must turn into a quality player or something. There we go, Pedro. Yes. There we go. It looks dominant now, doesn't it? It's a dominant display, this. All the subs are doing their bit as well, which is fantastic. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, we're conceding quite a few. But, yeah, it's still good results though, isn't it? Right, Ajax. Right. Let's see how we get on with these guys. Oh yeah, I've got to build up praise for this guy. I love him. He'll probably end up being fans player of the year. There we go. Another one in. We have got so many people coming in, it's unreal. Okay. Yeah, we've still got a good team here. Right, same again, please. Oh, they've got Yakubu. I like that guy. Abu Bakari Yakubu. Oh, get in, Maxime. Oh, this is it. This is what we want. We want dominance in Europe. This is why we're here. We want to get that La Decima. Got a long way to go, though. Oh, get in. Get in. I did not think it was going to be this simple, to be honest, today. I thought they were going to put up a big fight here. They've got some good players. They've got Kivu as well. I really like Kivu. 3.3, a lot of money. He's on 22 grand with these. He'd be more of a centre-back. He hasn't got the acceleration to play on the, the wing. I think I'm going to bring Zidane off because I'm, I'm aware that, yeah, he was tired last time. So Zidane can come off. Maxime can come off. Solari or Figo. Solari can come off. Okay, let's just see out this game now. I'm glad that Ra Raul scored, though. I think it's important he gets a goal and contribute a bit more. How are we doing in terms of the league? Yeah, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Lazio are still there, obviously. Um, yeah, good result. Good result. Happy with that. Fantastic. So, yeah, guys, that is the third episode of our Real Madrid gameplay. Please come back and watch some more. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.